guys welcome back to my channel so today i just wanted to quickly talk about these braids that i have right now and honestly it was like a hit or miss with this hair because i really wanted to do it where it was kind of like the boho braids with the wavy human hair at the ends and then i wanted the strands coming down as well but the beauty supply store i went to did not have like human hair long enough for me to put in a strands and i need to like drive you around so I decided to just do the ends and it came out actually really cute. I was kind of struggling with how to make them stay, but what I realized worked the best was just like putting glue to hold the ends. So like right here, you see that? So I put a glue like, I would braid it in a little bit and then put the glue right into the braids and then keep braiding it to like really seal it in. And that's been the method that worked the best and why I wanted to use human hair instead of the synthetic hair is because I still wanted to be able to dip my braids in the hot water to release the tension so it's not like stiff. There's nothing I hate more than stiff braids. I'm like, did you even finish your hair? Like, hello? <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I was still able to like dip it in the water and have it like silky and not like just stiff there like stiff braids are not cute they're just not so yeah that's the sprays i did it in the color 30 oh this looks so cute but yeah so i did it in the color 30 and then the hair that i put at the ends were it was color 30 and color one mixed in together or i think it was like four Maybe like 4 and 30 mixed in together. And I wasn't sure if it would blend really well. But it actually did. And I'm really, really happy about that. I really still do wish I was able to like put in the long strands. But it's okay. I'll just do that next time and actually plan for it properly. But yeah, this hair is so cute. Let me see if I can show you guys the hair that I used. So this is the braiding hair I used for it. It's the Expression Color 30. And this one, I got this one because there was a specific length I wanted. I really didn't want it to be too long, especially when I was going to be adding the curly hair to the ends. So I got one of these and I cut it into three sections and then... I just like stretched it out of course and that's what i used to braid it and the braids came down i actually have some that don't have the curly pieces in the ends let me see if i can find it so i can show you where it actually like stops right so this one doesn't have the curly piece in the end and that's only because it came out because this is one of the experimental ones because it's still in the back and i just let it be because i didn't think it looked that off but basically it stops like right here by my nipple area and that was the length I wanted. I didn't want like crazy long. I'm not trying to deal with the long lengths right now. So I would have it till there. And then with the curly pieces, it would come like down this way. And it still thinks like it blends in pretty well. So even though some of them are like coming out in the back, I don't really care because I still think it's like a good mix. It's so sad how out of breath I am these days. I really need to start working out but so this is the hair that i used i couldn't find the pack to show you what brand this was but basically you can get like any human hair like weave pack or if they have one that's specifically specifically for braiding that would probably be the best but this was just convenient it was like 17 dollars for this pack and i think it was 14 inches that was the longest one they had i was really hoping they would have like a longer one but they didn't so this is the hair <clears throat> it's the color four and 30. so i just have it i would cut it as you can see like all of these are gone i would cut it and then i would just like pull it so the ends were not like just blunt straight so you can see how the ends are like uneven and they look more natural so i would have that and just take like two little pieces of like this size and like basically feed it into the ends of the braids and that's what i did throughout the hair i braid it in a little bit add the glue and then keep braiding and that's how i kept it in i was kind of worried how the glue would act when i would put in the hot water so i won't lie when i first put it in like the glue you can kind of see it but not really but when i would first put it in the water and take it out it was white like you could see where the glue was but it would like come out a day or so later 
which I was fine with. And honestly, I'm so in love with the result of this hair. The size was exactly what I wanted. I didn't want anything big. You see this? How big this is and small. These just last me better and the color blends in so well. Like you can't even see where my hair like stops. Like if you were here really looking at it, like this one you can kind of see. It's like I'm braiding it myself, so tucking is kind of hard, but I think I did pretty decent, to be honest. So I'm going to give myself a clap. <laughs> but yeah, so I loved this color and how it blended in with my hair. Of course, my roots are growing out already, so I just let it be. It doesn't look that crazy, and especially because the braids are like, the knots are so small at the roots that you can't even like, it doesn't look like that crazy. But yeah, so you guys already know how I part my hair. I usually just do the cornrows beforehand. I think I have another video. Unfortunately, with this hair, it was just so like, I started so late, I couldn't record the whole process. But what I usually do is like, I'll put my hair in cornrows so that the main parts are like already there. So that's the only way I was able to get these parts kind of straight. So I would braid, I would do my braids one cornrow at a time, like... I'll do the first cornrow and then I'll do the second cornrow and all of that. So that's usually how I get my hair already parted and just like ready to go. And that's the easiest way for me, honestly, because if I had to start freehand parting, it's gonna, I feel like it would look so crazy because clearly I can't see what I'm doing on top of here. I'm kind of just free balling. I'm sitting in front of a mirror, but I can only see like the front. But I need to get one of those like three-sided mirrors so I can actually turn and see what it's looking like in the back. But I think I did pretty good still without it. The cornrows are definitely a huge help. I usually try to do my cornrows the day before I have to do the braids so I can like put in the moisturizer and just braid it in there. So when I'm ready, it's set to go. It's not dry. It's nice and soft. And it just like makes my whole life easier and it makes the braiding process easier because like i said you're going one corner at a time and when i tell you guys <laughs> i did the back right because i put in two section cornrows did some in the back and then did the front ones i did those first and then i did the ones on the side and i left like the middle part it literally looked like one old man like, i have like the receding hair and i left it like that for like three days i have like a cute like a quick Instagram video I made, I can insert that. The fact that I've been working on my hair like this for three days for me. Like, what is this? I haven't finished it. I started this on Saturday. Today's Tuesday, but we finished today by God's grace. When I tell you I was walking around like this for three days, it's actually sad. I was so tired. I just couldn't finish the braids and then things kept coming up. And then I think Tuesday night, I was finally like, no, this, 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 we can't be walking around like this. We just can't. So I finally finished it and it's so cute. It's freaking bomb. I love the parting. I love the size. I love the length. I love the color. I just, everything was just exactly what I wanted. Of course, it would have been better if I had the weaves to put in. I might still be able to put it in and just like crochet it in or something. I'll see how that goes. If I do decide to do that, I'll record it so you guys can see how I go about that process. But yeah, so this is this hair. It's the boho braids with human hair, and it feels so soft. It's not poking you. It's not matting up, which is the biggest thing of also not wanting to use synthetic is because they mat up so not great, and I'm not trying to deal with that. So I love, love, love. <laughs> I'll definitely be doing this again. Maybe I, I'm kind of sticking with this color for now. But yeah, so the next one, I'm definitely going to do it with the strands. But yeah, that is it about this hair. If you have any more questions, don't forget to put it in the comment box below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. And I'm just, you can tell like I'm really loving this hair. And I love when I do it like this because the curls will now start from here. And it just looks so cute. So, so cute. And it's this set for me, guys. Like, can you see? Misguided and Sean John were doing their damn thing. And it's so cold today. And I really wanted to wear this, but they just won't let me be great. It's okay though. We move regardless. This is the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Thank you to everybody who's already subscribed to my channel. It helps so much. 
and I'm really just trying to be like more consistent and putting out more content if there's anything you guys want to see of course like let me know or in hairstyle you want to try out I do do my hair pretty often enough to like switch it up if there's a new style that comes up so I'm really excited for that and thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys in my next video bye